Hello, this is the Lightning Stalker. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a cracked or broken circuit board. Here we have a circuit board that that broke and it's been partially repaired. I still got to add a few jumper wires but uh, so the first step to repair a broken circuit board is to glue the two halves back together and what I used here was a uh, special plastic bonding epoxy it seems to stick real good to to circuit boards and it, it's called plastic fusion by super glue and I just put that in this crack here on the one on this bottom half I, I spread it in there with a popsicle stick mm. and then I put the two pieces together and this this epoxy sets up pretty fast mm -hmm. about a half hour and it'll be all set up and then the next step once that's all dry, all hardened up is to go along with your little utility knife and scrape the green conformal coating off of the traces right where they meet at the crack and you got to be pretty careful that you don't cut through the trace. You just want to scrape hard enough so that it scrapes that coating off. And I did that on all these traces here that broke. Some of them though, like this one and this one and this one, were broken so bad that uh, it's broken multiple places you can see it's cracked here and here and here so what I'm gonna do for those is come up here to a uh, to a spot where the there's a component lead coming through the board and just solder a jumper wire there and then the other end solder one here mm -hmm. instead of fix trying to fix this trace then basically what you do and you gotta make sure you wanna take a magnifying glass and make sure that you have all the green coating off where it's near the crack even a little tiny piece will cause the solder to not stick and uh, once you got that done then it's time to solder and you want to put some flux on here I use liquid rosin flux you can get it at various electronic component places or uh, online or mail order and just put that on all of your bare copper joints where you're gonna solder and then all you do is put a big blob of solder on there not not too big not so big that it it's it comes in at the bottom where it meets the board just big enough that it it kinda makes a rounded top and that the two 
just enough so that the two uh, the two ends are are connected and uh, I did it on this one this one this one this one this one this one there's one right here it's kinda hard to see and then there's one more here and that's pretty much it you want to clean off your your flux with a little alcohol if if it's rosin flux or if it's no clean you don't have to clean it off but um, I always clean it off anyway I, I use the rosin flux because it's cheaper the other thing that I did I'll zoom in here right there I drilled a hole and that's called a stop drill and you can see it's right here at the end of this crack and what that does is keeps the crack from growing further out because otherwise if if say it's only cracked up to here uh, eventually due to flexing it will continue to crack all the way across uh, just use a small drill bit and if you didn't get it centered right on the crack then you can you can uh, drill it again with a slightly larger drill bit until you you uh, get that that crack nice and, and uh, centered in that on that hole so that it stops the crack that's a stop drill and stop drilling you you can use that for all kinds of things that, that crack you can use it on uh, uh, glass or although on glass usually you don't want a hole but you can if you can put up with the hole and the crack for whatever your application is or also on metal uh, it'll stop you can stop drill on metal cracks too so I hope you learned something and uh, thank you for watching have a nice day